You know, there's got to be an easier way to program seeing faces in x lights. There is. What? Oh, oh, the light, the light. What is the way? What is this easier way? By using Auto Lyrics Align. I've never heard of it. What is it? How do I find out how to use it? I'll show you in this video. What video? The video you're making right now. I'm in a video? Hey everyone, thanks for watching Bridgeport's Brightest Lights, and as you may have guessed by the title and in the intro, I'm going to be showing you a very easy way to program singing faces. Now if you don't know what singing faces are, singing faces are basically a prop in x lights that you can use in your light show, and it can sing along to the song, so it looks really cool, and this is what it looks like in my light show. Now I'm so excited, all my neighbors are delighted for my super nice display of Christmas lights. Now even though these look really cool, they're not super easy to program and I've heard of some people who don't even put them in the light shows because they hate programming them and they're so hard. And programming these are probably my least favorite part in sequencing a song. What you have to do is you have to get the lyrics of the song and then you have to put them into X lights and then you have to manually adjust each individual word on the track to match up with the music and if you have a four minute long song who knows how many words are in it and you have to adjust each individual word to make it look right because if you don't the singing faces won't work they won't look the right way they will be out of sync and sadly x lights has no way to automatically do this it can't read the song then do it for you so that's why you have to do it manually but once you do get the words in the right position you x lights can do the rest and it will break down each letter in the word and then make the singing face say each letter. But getting the words is the hardest part, and it takes me about five hours to do one track, sometimes even longer if it's a really long track. Now, near the end of last year, when I was just about done programming all my lights, sadly, I found a video on YouTube that showed a super simple way to program these, and I tried it on one last song that I had to program the singing faces for, and it was so easy and I guarantee you once you start learning how to do this and do it on a few tracks you can make a singing face timing track in under five minutes for any song because this is how simple it is so I just thought it'd be really cool to share this with all of you guys because if you have singing faces you should know how to use this it makes programming them so easy I tried to find the original video and channel to give them credit but I looked all over YouTube I searched everywhere I couldn't find the video I even looked in my watch history and I couldn't find it anywhere, so I'm not sure if he took down the video or what. Now, the main part that you have to do on this is a website. It's completely free. You don't need to install anything other than x -Lights. As long as you have x -Lights installed, you can do this. This website's completely free, and it will do it for you. There's no limit, no sign-up. just does it online for you. So, let me take you onto my computer to show you what you have to do. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone into x -Lights and I've made a uh, temporary show folder. This is just a test. And I have one singing face. This is one of the most commonly used ones. It's a Christmas tree and it has a mouth and eyes. And I have the house preview right here. And I have everything set up right here. I have a sequence open, but this is just an animation. So before you do anything, you're going to want to make your new sequence. So I'm going to go to new sequence. I'll just get rid of these changes. Musical sequence, because there's no point in doing this if you have no music that needs to sing to. And then the song I'm going to be using for this test is Hey Come Look At My House. And the reason I'm using this from last year is it's the only song that's not copyright. And if I use a copyright song, this video could be blocked. So I'm going to use Hey Come Look At My House. And when you're making singing faces, I recommend you use 40 frames per second. Even though it takes up more space for your files. And sometimes it might slow down your computer. The singing faces will look so much better compared to 20 frames per second they'll be able to sing faster and it'll just look so much smoother all models so i have the timing track right up here and this is the sing face i just left it to the default name it's Biscoyo sing tree what you want to do first if you're doing this is you want to get your mp3 file ready to do this on the website it has to be an mp3 file it won't work with any other files and then you need to get a text document and copy and paste the lyrics into the text document so right here in my uh, demo folder, I have the lyrics.txt and the lyrics are just in here. You want to make sure they're in a text file 
and you don't want any extra words in here only the words that are in the song you don't want this to say like lyrics for the song you don't want that because then i'll think that's lyrics and then exclamation po points and any other symbols usually work fine i haven't really had any problems so those should be fine next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go online and you're going to want to search auto lyrics except with an x align and then you're going to go to this website this is a completely free website like i said auto lyrics align and basically what it does is you can enter a youtube link or an mp3 audio file upload the uh, lyrics and then it will align them for you and then it will allow you to export the file which you can then directly import into x lights so i'm going to select mp3 audio and this is probably what you're going to use too and then you're going to want to upload your mp3 file when you hit next i've had a problem where it says this isn't a valid mp3 file what i had to do was go online and search file to mp3 converter and even though this was mp3 it had to convert it to mp3 and then it works so if you have that problem you might want to try that and then upload the lyrics file i have the lyrics.txt and then hit next and then see how it says this error please upload files having extensions.mp3 only even though that is mp3 it didn't work so i found out what the problem was and this website does not like it when there are weird symbols in the file name when there's parentheses or quotation marks or anything it can't read it for some reason so i renamed it there's nothing in it other than this if i select my text file again and this it should work now and when you click next yes it will work it shows please wait and this will take about two to five minutes usually so just let this sit keep the tab open okay so that took about three minutes if you have really big files like over five minutes long it could take even longer but it took about three minutes and then when it's done it shows you your audio file right here and then it shows the lyrics so before you download anything, you should just check to make sure that the lyrics are about right. If there's a few words that aren't correct or certain little things that aren't correct, you can still fix it in x -Lights. As long as this is mostly correct, that should be fine. Let's test it out. Every year for Christmas season, I can show my expertise and synchronize displays of Christmas lights. That's our all time to music. Now I'm so excited, all my neighbors are delighted for my synchronized display. Now I did notice one problem right here. So if you look here where it says breathe and then has the little symbol after it, that means it couldn't read that word. So if we go and look at the text file, what word that is. So what it did was it went from two right here, skipped music, and went right to now. This word now. It might have been because of uh, the parentheses, but let's check the rest to make sure it doesn't have any parts to say breathe. When it says breathe, that usually means it found a problem. Nice displays of Christmas lights. Lights! So, this thing did uh, somewhat well. I've had a few times where it did say breathe. I found it said breathe about eight to nine times in this song, which is usually high. It's very weird how it worked because I had a song that was two minutes longer than this one that I tested this on just a few days ago and it worked perfectly fine without the word breathe in it at all it just depends on the song so if it says breathe there's nothing you can do about it in here and you have to fix it in x lights and i'll show you how to do that so this isn't going to be perfect usually i find that you don't have to tweak the words at all all you have to do is fix the parts to say breathe now i am perfectly fine with fixing the parts to say breathe i'd rather do that than having to go through the entire sequence and make each word the right way so now what you could do is if you found you don't like how this works you could just try another song but you're gonna go down here to download aligned lyrics and you're gonna download it as an audacity file so just click here and then it downloaded it the name is result lyrics and then it has some numbers after it so now that's all you need to do on this website. You can close it. I'll just minimize it. Then you can come back into X Lights. Now last year, I'm not sure if X Lights did something to make this work, but I used to have to install a program 
which would convert the audacity file into another file and this guy made the program who made the video about this and that's why i wanted to give him credit but i tested this and with x lights now you don't need to install this and it's really weird now but now all you need to do once you have the file installed is you're going to go to new timing or just click on your timing and you're going to hit import timing track if we go to my downloads if you go to downloads you'll notice the file isn't here you can't see it at all all you see is some uh, folders and then this is not it what you have to do is where x lights selects only the x timing files you have to select it to also look for text files select that and then it'll show up this is the one right now all you do is just open it and then look at that it puts in all the words now when you import lyrics yourself or you make your own timing track it has phrases but when you do this it does not have phrases it has just the words so you might not like that but it is very close so if we go through and play this now every year for christmas season i can show my it just created all of this in about five minutes and this would have taken me about five hours so i am very grateful for this tool now what you do now if you've never made a lyrics track is since we did it this way if you have the problem where the words breathe are you have to go through and look for the breathe words so when you have the problem where it says breathe which you might have on some songs usually the word is a very small amount so right here where it says holiday then synchronized the word breathe is here this should say holiday traditions i think holiday tradition. it should say holiday tradition and it says breathe so what you want to do when this happens is this part can get a little annoying but you want to go through and you want to look for every single word that's missing. So right here, the word tradition is missing. There were some other words too that are missing. But I'm not going to go through that. I'm just going to do this one. And what you're going to do, and this is a little bit complicated. But all you're going to do is add a timing track. Just call it lyrics. And there might be an easier way to do this. But this is how I do it. I don't know of any other way. And then you're going to make... You're going to hit import lyrics. So you would pop, copy and paste the lyrics. What you're going to do is put it in the words that it missed in order. So the first word it missed was tradition. If later on in the song it missed the word Christmas, then you'd put that in next. Just put them on its own line. So I'm going to say tradition. So I put tradition in. And now if there was another word, I'd go on a new line and import it. But if there's only one word, only put in the one word and then hit OK. So since it's just one word, the word tradition is going to span across this entire part. What you want to do is shrink it so it goes right around the same zone where the breathe word is. And like I said, there might be an easier way to do this, but this is the only way I know how to do it. What you're going to do is just make it really small so it could fit inside where the word's going to be. So if I'm going to select this, we can delete breathe. So what you need to do if you want to delete the word is right click it, then hit delete or delete the word. And you can't add in a word. But what you can do is I have the word tradition. Now what you got to do is just copy and then paste the word. And then you could delete it from the lower timing track and it added it in here. Just adjust it yourself so it's correct. So now it's in there instead of breathe. And once you get all the words out of the lyrics track, you can just go and right click the lyrics track and delete the timing track. That's what you need to do to fill in all the words. Like I said, there probably is an easier way. If it's a simple word like the, it couldn't put in the, and I've had that happen before, it's really weird. And then the pops up again in the song. You don't have to type it into the lyrics. What you could do is like just come over to the word the, right click it, hit copy, then paste it in the other area. But if it's a word that's not in the song, you have to manually add it in that way. So like I said, the program did not give us any phrases. So x Lights thinks each individual word is its own phrase, and that's okay. Just hit break down phrases and then will copy and break it down again. And then next what you're going to do is hit break down words. And then this is where x Lights will put it all in so it'll work. Now it will have to load in a standard dictionary and an extended dictionary. This usually doesn't take that long. But once you open it once you won't have to let it load again until you reopen x Lights. Then it'll need to load again. And now that it's done loading it added in all of each letter for the word. So everything should be correct, perfectly in place. And to do that, we'll select our new timing track. And I'll just put a timing mark all the way back here at the very end. And then on the Biscoyo Sing Face, I'll take a Sing Face effect. 
And then what you want to do, and I'm just saying this if you've never made this before. So what you do is hit timing track, then select lyrics, since lyrics is the timing track. And then I like to do some other stuff like show the outline. And then you want to make sure the face definition is set for it's the correct thing. You can make the eyes stay open, close their auto. If you set it to auto, actually to randomly make it blink. So it looks like it's a real person kind of. And now let's test this out. I'll just play a part here and I'll bring over this now. And if I make it full screen and I hit play. It's our time to music. Quit my job November just to dazzle this December with my synchronized display of Christmas lights. It's time to music. My wife called me mentally. It made it that quickly within about five minutes once you get the hang of this and you can do it I guarantee you you can make a timing track in under five minutes This is the most efficient way to do it that I know of Except for the part where you have to, if the word breathe is in there You do have to fix that because if you don't this thing won't say anything It'll just skip over the word and it'll look weird So I'd recommend just changing that but that is how you import and make these lyric tracks super quickly so that is the way that you can super easily program singing faces and you can probably do it in under five minutes like I said once you get the hang of it and do it multiple times. I highly 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 recommend you use this. It will save you so much time in sequencing and then you can put that time that you would spend programming those on making your actual sequences better. Now I am uh, working on a video and working on my layout for this year for what the light show is going to look like. But I will have a video in the future for this year's light show layout and it's going to look really cool. There's some cool things that I'm adding and I really want to say where everything is but I'm not going to tell you guys until I can finish that video. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, what? What?